Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Joseph Murphy's School of Comedy. How you will learn how to be as funny as I. I wasn't born funny. I smelled funny. And no one would play with me in the playground, so I used to pick my nose and I used to do a thing called the snot blaster, where, I, where I'd, I'd, I'd pull one nostril and I'd blast snot over everyone and then they'd say, oh, hello? It's, hello? Yes. <clears throat> I blast, blast snot over everyone and then they'd say, Murphy, that's rank. I didn't make many friends, but um, moving on. So today, as you'll all want to know, how, how do I become funny? How do, how, how, how do I make people laugh without having to blow snot all over them? Well, to be honest, uh, I don't know, uh, you, you write jokes, or well, you steal jokes. Yes, you steal them. That's, uh, that's much easier than having to write them. Uh, Reddit is a good place to start. Uh, yeah, and then just sort of change a few words around so you don't get caught. Um, but if you don't really feel like you can steal jokes, uh, the best course of action is to write them. And how I write my jokes, I use the, uh, the free point uh, system. So let's pretend this blue pen is uh, the, the, the setup. I'll put that here. Uh, this bottle is whatever the middle bit is. And this banana is the punchline. So what you want to do with your setup? Uh, sorry, sorry, are you talking? This is my comedy school. No talking in my comedy school. I should buy it. Oh, hello. What's the name? Oh, um, no, sorry, I'm just doing a little uh, comedy sketch. No, you can come in if you like. No, no, I'm just saying you're good in this room. Oh, very good in this room. We're all good in this room. Thank you, everyone. Oh, thanks. Um, Sorry about that, just a little bit of admin. Um, I'm definitely supposed to be in this room. Um, right, so uh, your setup, all right? So typically this should be, this could be anything from a man walks into a bar to, um, I don't know, I've got crippling prostatitis and gastrotitis. Oh dear God, oh dear God. So what, what you do with that, and then, and then so you've got your little uh, man walking into a bar with gastrotitis, uh, which, to be honest, is a bad idea because you don't want to be drinking with gastrotitis. You want to be taking a macrozol and eating a nice, tasty banana. But uh, we, we, we won't get to the punchline just yet. We don't want to eat the punchline. Um, so, uh, so, so, we, so we've got the guy in the bar and suddenly he turns to the barman and he says something ridiculous and unexpected like, instead of a beer, why don't you give me a punch? And at this point, the audience is like, where the fuck is this going? I thought he was just going to ask for a regular drink. Um, but no, that's, that's the twist. And then the barman, you know what he does? He goes, oh, Bill, please come in. More, more, the more the merry, I say. Uh, the barman comes in and uh, he says, oh, I'll tell you where you can get your punch. In the punch line or banana. Now, the thing is, if you... Uh, weren't aware of the three point system, pen, bottle, and banana, you'd be a bit confused by that punchline. So that's why it's always good to bring a banana whenever you perform comedy. Good source of potassium and cures depression, especially if you have crippling prostatitis and gastrotitis. Well, everyone, I think that's all time we've got today. Uh, I hope you've liked this course. Um, if you'd like to leave money, in the bucket afterwards, that would be greatly appreciated because I live at home with my parents. And thank you.